Thanks, sir. We're not going to talk about our days, are we? No. Okay, good. Well, I want to thank everybody for this honor because truly it is an honor. Um, I've been on the Hall of Fame committee for many years and I've had an opportunity to put a lot of great people into this Hall of Fame. And I appreciate the effort that it takes, the work that you put in and the, the, the time that you've devoted to your sport or to whatever goes in. And I was looking back over the years that I've, I've was a sports writer, a, a outdoor writer, whatever you want to call me. Um, I just, it, it was something that I enjoyed. I never went to work. I never, never in my life did I go to work. Every day was a new experience. Every day was something different. Every day was something really, really fun because it wasn't work. It was sports. It was outdoors. It was covering things that I enjoyed. And so for this honor, I, I really, really appreciate everybody that voted for me, and I appreciate this time, this weekend that we have here. Um, oh, I, and I appreciate my, my very best friend, Dan McDonald, because I'm going to tell a little story about Dan. Back in 1972, we had a dining hall, and if you stayed at the college on Saturdays, you had your best meal. Your best meal was a steak or shrimp or something like that. And I was in the middle of my second bite of steak when all of a sudden I felt Dan tapping me on the shoulder and saying, we've got to go. I said, where do we have to go? He said, to the, to the stadium. I said, why? He said, we've got to get ready. I looked at my watch and I said, Dan, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. The game doesn't start till seven. He says, yeah, but there's some stuff that we got to do. And with a strong back and a very weak mind, I carried a ditto machine up a hundred steps <laughs> to, the to the top. And I had ditto fluid all over me. And Dan says, boy, I said, this is great. I'm going to use you a lot. <laughs> and I looked at myself and I said, whoa. I said, what have I gotten into? But we went everywhere we could go. When elevators broke down, the old pack mule packed it up the stairs. And Dan was right there behind me, encouraging me the entire way. <laughs> and as I would come and lay down with the team, I would lay there and I would be resting. And all of a sudden, I hear this fast footsteps. And Dan would come up and says, I need your help. Of course, being my best friend, I got up. I went to help him. I just didn't realize I was going to be sweeping out a press box for the opposing team. <laughs> and I told Dan, I said, Dan, they have people that do this. He said, yeah, but I want this to be right. Dan taught me a lot of good lessons. One of those lessons he did teach me was, if you're going to do something, do it right. And I've tried in the last 45 years to do it right. Well, Philip, you've done everything in the newspaper business. Uh, you've done graphic design. You've done uh, sport event coverage. You've been a high school guy. You've been college. You've done pros. Uh, a lot of us know you as a tremendous advocate and writer about the outdoors. Was there, is there a favorite, or how do you, how do you rank them? Well, my first love is prep football. I, I love prep football. I, 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 there's just something about it. I, I wasn't good enough to play. And my father was a coach. He, he, he was a coach for the first 10 years of his life. He was a school teacher for over 40 years. But he was a coach for the first 10 years of his life. And he coached with Benny Ellender down in Sulphur before Benny went to Tulane. And my dad was very, very meticulous about 
the fact that he would take my mother on dates. Thursday night was a junior high ball game. Friday night was a high school ball game. Saturday night was a Magnese football game. So as I was going with my parents, football became part of me. I loved it, and I still love it to this day. In fact, I no longer work for a daily newspaper. I work for a statewide Baptist newspaper, but on Friday nights, I cover a football team, the Marksville Tigers, for free because I just want to be with that atmosphere, with, that, with the team, to have a team to cover. Now, outdoors, yes, I, loved, I love outdoors. I mean, my goodness, who wouldn't love outdoors? Who wouldn't love to be paid to go hunt and fish anywhere in this state? When I was voluntold at the uh, Daily Advertiser that I was going to be the new outdoor guy, I said, yes, when do I start? And they said, right away. I had the greatest duck hunting factory sitting right there in 20 miles from Lafayette. I had coastal fishing. I had freshwater fishing. I mean, I loved it. And, and to this day, I still love it. And I've passed that on to my boys, and I hope that they enjoy it just as much as I have. What does this day and this weekend mean to you? <sighs> well, it's like we talked about. I needed this Hall of Fame. I needed this Hall of Fame because I was in a bad car wreck. And the car wreck almost took my life. And I was non-weight bearing for three months. And I didn't have anything to do but to stare at the ceiling, to wait, to try to recover. Uh, this that I have right now is nothing compared to what I had. I, I shattered my left ankle. I, 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 the force of the impact, I took the steering column and forced it a foot and a half into the block. My watch, which was on my wrist, was impaled in the windshield. They had to cut me out of the truck. I fell asleep coming back from duck hunting. And I want to tell you, it was a terrible duck hunt. That was the only thing that came out of that. But when I got there and I started thinking, you and I got on the phone and we talked and talked and talked. And then the idea started to come together. And as we planned, we formulated, and as I recovered, that helped my recovery. It was therapy for me. And we got things going. And yes, we had some tough times, and yes, we made a few mistakes, but overall, what I see today is just breathtaking. And this is the first time I've been in this building. I, I don't know why. I mean, here I am, the one that, that really kind of nudged it along, but this is the first time I ever came into this building because I didn't think it was for me. I thought it was for the athletes, the great heroes, sports heroes of this state for the Peyton Mannings, the Les Miles, the Charles Smith, for the Roger Caters. I mean, these are the people that deserve this Sports Hall of Fame and not me. So I really never came back till now. And what I see today is just, it's breathtaking. So I'm very, very humbled, very humbled. I thought you were a writer. Evidently, you're a speaker as well. Philip Timothy, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.